Well, it's day 101 and you're seeing me here in a bed again. Uh, we had planned to be here at the Quality Inn in Carlisle tonight. And uh, we've done a lot of running this morning. Honestly, I completely forgot to get out the phone. But I'll show you some of the things that we did. We've been to REI. Um, we have some new gear that we needed to have. We're going to have to figure out how to get some stuff sent home. Um, that's logistics for perhaps tomorrow. I think with the, with the forecast for rain tomorrow, uh, it's, it's awfully hard to leave town in a rainstorm. And we've got only about two hours to repackage and send some stuff home <clears throat> and get the car back into the rental. So I think we're probably going to just take another day here tomorrow because I have, have not uploaded any videos. I've edited every, everything up through maybe yesterday or the day before, but I've got a little bit of editing, which doesn't take a tremendous amount of time. But the uploading part is uh, dependent on the Wi-Fi here. And if we have to go find a public library, then we'll have the time to do that. So at any rate, greetings today 101. I'll still show you some things uh, that we're doing today and uh, some of the stuff that we picked up at REI. And we'll touch base with you in a little while. So I mentioned a trip to REI. This is one of the purchases. Um, we learned a few days ago when we stayed in Bull and Springs that our 2019 version of the Copper Spur tent is no longer waterproof. So Hawkeye has a new tent today. Yay. He's playing around with it over here. He's got it set up in the hotel, actually, bless his heart. <laughs> um, it's got some changes in the design. Um, one thing is, uh, uh, finger up along the top right here, this vestibule right here can be staked out this way to create kind of an awning for it, but you can also unzip it. Yeah. You use your trekking poles. You can unzip it along this side, which is a new feature. The older version of this tent only had, you know, the one zipper coming to where the vestibule stakes out right here. So he can do that. Um, it's got all kinds of pockets and pouches and things. I'm going to try to get in here and not look silly. Um, you know, if I were sleeping in it, I would have my head the other direction. I, I, and I'm and he too. likely will as well. But the, one of the things I love about this particular tent, my older copy of it that Gavin has been using, has the same mesh pocket right here. Uh, it's got a mesh pocket right over there by the door. And another one on this side. But then it has, <laughs> uh, I'm laying in the floor now. It has a larger mesh pocket up here. Yep. And he's being kind of silly right now. He's got his phone stuck in it right there. and He's watching videos <laughs> through the mesh it's so the that he doesn't have to hold his phone there. up. So um, anyway, we got fortunate. We got a good price on this tent. Very good price. And, uh, you know, I, I think it'll serve us both well, whichever one of us uses it in the future. Right now, dibs. he's going to be using it. He's calling dibs, but I paid the, I paid the money for it. <laughs> so new Copper Spur HV UL2 tent for Hawkeye. That's one of our purchases at the REI today. So in the realm of holy cow, can this trip cost us any more money? Um, so I have lost so much weight. I've been wearing just a regular short sleeve dry weave, dry power shirt from Russell that I got at a Walmart somewhere along the trail or maybe at home or something. And I've seen a lot of folks that have been wearing sun hoodies. Uh, and I've noticed that uh, as I'm getting older, my skin is getting drier and, and I, I feel like probably having some sun protection is a good idea. So this is a wicking sun hoodie uh, that I picked up. It's an REI brand, and uh, I think it'll be a nice shirt. If it's not, we'll shoot. We'll go to Walmart and spend ten bucks and replace this shirt that I'm wearing now. Sometimes, so. But yeah, Hawkeye says if it doesn't work for me, he can take it. So that's one of the other purchases that we picked up. And sadly, um, I am now on pack number three. Um, the, I've, I've been complaining about my hip belt for quite a while that my hip belt was not tying down tightly enough. So I picked up an Osprey Atmos AG65. This is the small medium version. Yes, I have the large version at home, bless. Uh, but that hip belt won't tighten down anymore either. So this one has some features that I like about it. It, it has some pockets here and over here that I can put some things in here that will stay out of the way, out of the inside of the pack. Um, it does have a zipper down here so that if I want to get to my sleep gear, I can, but usually I have a tent tied on right here. So I usually pop the, there's a baffle in here. I usually open that up and just let it be top down all the way. Um, so I'll you know, continue to put my sleep stuff down here at the bottom. That's going to be the last thing out. 
first thing in. Um, still have the tent loop here for the outside. And it has a built-in rain cover down here on the bottom. Uh, Hawkeye thinks his isn't large enough for his pack, but we'll see. This is the same bag that he's got, uh, but mine is green instead of blue. So that was another big purchase, but I've, I've got another inch on either side of the hip belt buckle now. So this should serve me well so far as being a, a good fitting pack from going forward. I uh, picked up another pair of smart wool socks. I prefer smart wool. Uh, Hawkeye prefers darn tough, so he's got a couple of socks there. Um, he needed some new insoles. Uh, picked up another dry bag. This is just for my clothes because the, uh, the seam tape out of mine popped loose miles ago, and I noticed the other day when we got to town, it was uh, kind of damp in there. And then we've got some Picardin insect repellent that hopefully will help us to ward off some of the varmints that are buzz in our face so it was kind of a pricey trip to rei but a necessary one and this should give us give us the gear that we need to go forward we've got 1100 miles ish to do still so this stuff hopefully will serve us well for the rest of our trip well good evening to you on day 101 uh i'm gonna kind of draw today's very short video to a close but before i do i have a couple of thoughts on my mind one is gratitude <clears throat> we uh have been blessed in so many ways to make this trip uh, from first just the, the time and the ability and the finances to be able to pull something like this off. That's truly a blessing in and of itself. Uh, and, and we don't wanna let that go unnoticed. Um, you know, we've been blessed by a plethora of folks who have made our journey easier along the way. Uh, you've seen uh, the video that I did I think it was a zero day, probably in Harper's Ferry. It may have been before that, where I talked about all the blessings on the trail and, you know, the people have been great. Uh, just in the last week or so, we've been hosted by a couple of subscribers. Um, I, I don't know, about three or four or five days back. And uh, we spent the last two days in the guest home of a couple of subscribers that reached out to us and asked if they could help to make our journey easier. And we're actually going to wind up going back there in a day or so. Um, they're a little north of where we got off the trail here in, in Pennsylvania and Carlisle. Uh, so we'll be hiking back there, uh, not tomorrow, but, but the following day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and we're going to take a day and just do nothing tomorrow and not have any chores, not have any running to do, and just chill. But we'll wind up back up with, uh, with uh, those folks, uh, Sharon and Dale, and uh, we appreciate you guys. Um, Derek and Linda, a week or so ago, again, thanks for your hospitality and, and your ministry. Um, we uh, have reached out or have been reached out by uh, another lady uh, who's probably still another week, week and a half in front of us uh, with a place to tent or maybe even stay. I'm not sure which. I haven't done the logistics on that, but I'll reach out to her in the next day or so. And uh, there's a hiker that um, we met on trail. Oh, it's been three or four years ago now, um, I followed some of his videos and went down and uh, picked him and his girlfriend up and helped them to get a resupply to a place where they had a tough place to get resupplied. And we've kind of kept in touch. Uh, we, we met him at Angel's Rest when we were there visiting Pringles a while back. They were coming southbound, so in the off normal season. Um, reached out to him yesterday. He's in our future. Uh, so hopefully we'll see him and, uh, and his girlfriend. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're blessed beyond <clears throat> one, any measure that one could imagine. And uh, we're appreciative of that. And finally, we're blessed that uh, you are watching our videos. Uh, it's, it's a whole lot easier to, to plan for taking some extra time in town or taking an afternoon or a, a day or a whatever to pull together and edit a handful of videos for the past week and get those uploaded, find Wi-Fi. It, it makes it a whole lot easier to know that we've got an audience that people are watching and that you're commenting on the videos and we appreciate that so very, very much. So I'm gonna end day 101 with, with a huge thank you to you and to all the other folks that have helped us make our way up the trail. Um, tomorrow, we're, as I said, we're gonna rest and relax. We may do a little bit of running. Um, I'll show you a little of what we get into, but we've been asked to make another video um, for our church talent show that's coming up soon. And uh, not sure exactly what we're gonna do with that, but that'll probably find its way into the video tomorrow. So we appreciate you joining us and we'll see you tomorrow morning.